Hello everyone and happy Easter. Thank you for sticking with the Seriously God series that we've been having. And for many of you for sticking with the small group experience. We've been thrilled that more than 150 members of our parish have been members of a small group discussing this important book that looks directly, squarely at why it is that sometimes things happen in life that are excruciating to bear and how God could be so good and yet life can sometimes be so hard. A lot of people have told me how much their small group experience has meant to them. And in fact, a number of people have said, I wish it didn't have to end. As we were getting near the end of the book, I thought, wow, I'm really gonna miss this. When is the next small group experience? And I'm here to tell you that you can stick with your small group right now. And here's why. You may not realize it, but if you go to our user-friendly parish website, you'll find that you can grow in your faith by clicking on the menu at the top of the screen and then clicking on small groups. There you will find that every week by Sunday evening, we post new content based on the readings and the homily from that past weekend, the weekend that just occurred. Then small groups have a chance to read selected excerpts of those readings together and to refresh their memory about what they might have thought about at Mass, what insights might have come their way. And then you can follow a discussion guide that is meant to be almost like a mini group liturgy. And what I mean by that is there's an opening prayer. There's a chance for people to, to share the, the responsibility of reading the reading aloud. There's times for moments of silence. And then there are discussion questions, just like there were at the end of every chapter of Seriously God. And there's always some sort of post or, or meme or, or gif from social media, something that's been somehow in the, in the ether lately of our culture that you have a chance to look at. And then there's either a litany of some sort or some prayers of the faithful. And for any small groups that because of health reasons or other concerns, they're not yet returning to mass in person, well, there's also the prayer, prayer for spiritual communion right there. And of course, a closing prayer. So you do not have to end your small group experience. As a matter of fact, for the weeks of the Easter season from April 24th through June 6th, we're going to be doing a series on love, the role of love in the Easter story and in our human lives. That was the unanimous vote of the small group hosts that gathered to talk about their small group experience recently. We gave them the option of a number of different themes that they could hear about during the Easter season that would be in keeping with the scripture messages, and they chose love. So love it is. So we hope you'll consider using the series that we're going to be having during the weeks of Easter, along with the small group format that we post every week on our homepage and and use the experience that people have had with their small groups to bring a continued and deepened awareness of God's love and presence in life through all the different stages we go through. May the small group experience that you have had continue to bear fruit in your life and may you continue to be connected to us here at St. Mary's and to the whole church, all the believers of Christ spread throughout the world. Happy Easter and God bless you all.